Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I'm actually out of town, but I felt like, hey, I might as well get a video out for you guys. And I mean, I, I don't have the proper recording equipment to edit it, but I am able to record on my laptop because I brought a microphone with anticipating this to happen. So I'm gonna give you guys an unedited showdown live where I actually showcase um, Galarian Slowbro here. Now Galarian Slowbro is really interesting in the fact that it has this exclusive move called Shell Sidearm, which deals either physical or, or special damage, or it, like, it calcs using their physical defense or special defensive stat, depending on which one's lower, which is really, really cool, and has a 20% chance to poison. So I figured I would try out a Trick Room team. Nothing on this team is exactly capped to live things. Like, I just decided to throw it together because I wanted to try it out and give you guys a video of me just showcasing it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, just leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Let's try to reach 150 likes and hit the bell if you're new to the channel. I upload, uh, I'm going to try to do daily content, but it's really hard for me. I actually had to take a break from this trip to do this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Galarian Slowbro set is going to be running a Shookaberry. However, I'm going to drop that. I, I was testing out with Shookaberry. It doesn't seem to be the play. I mean, it is ground weak. However, I can always just use a Moongus to help it out. So I'm actually going to switch it out for a Wikiberry here. And then I'll just give it a little bit more longevity. Uh, we're using Safety Goggles, Intimidate, and Cinera, which is really nice for being able to get that Trick Room off. Uh, we have Redirection with this Cobaveri Amoongus. We're running a huge power Aqua Jet uh, Belly Drum set on our Azumarill here. This is a good defensive Corviknight to help deal with Urshifu because I'm not sure how those guys are going to face or how, how we're going to do facing that team. So I figured I would have a very physical defensive Pokemon that takes neutral hits from it and get him with the super effective Grey Bird, which is really nice. And I just felt like slapping on a cool Pokemon here. So we're going to be running Life Orb Adaptability Dragalgy with Sludge Bomb, uh, Protect Dragon Pulse, and Thunderbolt. I originally was going to run Draco Meteor, but. When I actually try to use Draco Meteor, it tells me that it can't learn it, which is a little bit disappointing. I was not aware it could learn it. I think that might not be true, because I'm pretty sure I've seen it use it before, but let's go ahead and get into it. This is probably going to be a shorter video, like two or three battles, because I just want to I just want to get a video out to you guys where I use this team. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Uh, we see a very odd team. I'm pretty low ladder. Like, this is an alternate account. I'm still on Telemundo Univision instead of Moxie Boost at VGC. But I feel pretty comfortable leading off Incineroar Slowbro to be able to get my Fake Out off, and uh, or to get my Trick Room off. And then from there, Azumarill looks like it can clean up a few members of this team. And uh, Galarian Slowbro is going to be able to deal with this boy right here, uh, as well as the Mian Xiao. I think my last Pokemon, I uh, kind of want to go Amoongus. Doesn't seem too bad of an option. Corviknight also looks pretty good. I just have to deal with that uh, Alolan Marowak. Do I want to bring Dragalgy though? Do I just want to showcase Dragalgy under Trick Room? Uh, let's, uh, I mean the Rage Powder is nice. Let's just go with Amoongus. Let's just go with Amoongus. Also, apologies if the audio quality isn't quite where it's supposed to be. In fact, it might be better. My microphone's been acting up lately, but, uh, right now, I, I realized as soon as I started getting set up to record this video, I forgot my microphone stand, so I am literally putting my microphone sideways on a bottle of Tums. It is on a Tums bottle. Because <laughs> they have this little divot on there that'll let me just rest my microphone. Alright, cool. That was actually kind of the lead I was hoping for. Um, Alolo Marowak is kind of terrifying. Kind of terrifying, gotta admit. I'm assuming he's gonna go for Flare Blitz here. Ooh, Orchid Dynamax. I think it's my best interest to keep Slowbro alive. Protect. I'll go for this. I'll actually parting shot here, because I should be able to knock it out with the zoom roll. Yeah, I'll parting shot and protect. He goes for the tailwind and the shadow bone. Beautiful. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. Get in the zoom roll. Probably gonna go for a taunt, so I'll just Dynamax here and I'll switch in my Incineroar. Go for this Max Geyser. Into the Marowak. Not really concerned about Whimsicott. Azumarill has a good amount of bulk on here. That's the cool part about having huge power Pokemon. Typically, a lot of their EVs, or not their EVs, a lot of the stats ended up going into their bulk, like this HP and this defense. It's pretty good. So when you add the huge power onto it, it's really, really strong. All right, that's not too bad. I should be able to get a relatively powerful hit off on this Corviknight as he tries to taunt me on my Belly Drum. And I get a critical hit, beautiful. Beautiful, I can knock that thing out next turn. Uh, and I'll actually just go ahead and I might be able to get him slow bro here as I knock out the Corviknight. But I kind of want to get rid of Whimsicott too. Just Flare Blitz for damage. 
go for a max geyser. He doesn't really have anything to switch into it unless he has Inteleon. And I take that hit like a champ. He goes for the Roost. Let's see how much I do in the rain here. Ooh, almost, almost. So I should knock it out next turn, and I can just go for another Flare Blitz into this Whimsicott pretty, uh, pretty freely, actually. And I still have Aqua Jet, which is really nice for the Marowak, which I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain that's what he's going to want to Dynamax in the endgame. Yeah. Going to take a bit of damage here. Get my Citrus Berry. He goes for the Brave Bird, assuming he's going to knock me out. So, uh, Whimsicott is going to drop this turn, which actually I'm really happy that, uh, that Corbin ended up knocking itself out, because that makes it a little bit easier. I still have Aqua Jet. There's the Mian Xiao. Now, Mian Xiao could go for a Fake Out here. I'm assuming that's what it's going to go for, and he's going to probably go for a Shadow Bone. Uh, let me go ahead and get in my Amoongus here. Not, yeah. I was going to go for Shadow Bone into the Azumarill. But I think it's in my best interest to get in Amoongus while I can and switch in Slowbro and then I get a Trick Room off. This goes for Low Kick. Yeah. I should go get a Trick Room off. Let me Rage Powder here. Because it is in the rain. And a Tempest Trick Room. And then from that point on, um, Azumarill's super, super threatening to this team. In fact, I might just target on Mian Xiao, because the rest of my team can deal with Alola Marowak, um, like if I can stall at the Dynamax turns under Trick Room. As he Dynamaxes the Mian Xiao, interesting. Rage Powder up, and he goes for the Max Darkness. Alright, I'm actually really happy how this turned out for me. Blur Blitz. Alright, cool. Let me get in Azumarill here. I have 49 speed. He... Didn't have a Trick Room option in this team. I don't think he's going to be minimum speed. I think I should be fine. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. I might just play rough into Mian Xiao, actually. It might be in my best interest just to double into Mian Xiao. Let me go for that. This is really risky. I don't think he max guards. Yeah. Let's get rid of that Mian Xiao. Good game. Get in my Incineroar. I am actually faster than that thing, so... Go for my Liquidation, go for my Darkest Lariat. That's a good game, man. Good game. Beautiful. I'm actually really happy we got to showcase the Galarian Slowbro on that on that uh, matchup. And even though all it did was switch out, it was still pretty good. Now, here is a team that I'm scared of. They gave Ndidi Expanding Force. And that move is a Psychic-type move that hits everything on the field. But it's like double damage under Psychic Terrain and still gets the Psychic Terrain boost. So Incineroar is kind of important for this matchup. However... <laughs> There is a Bisharp on that side of the field, so I'm not really a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Corviknight looks like it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay for this matchup. I don't have Body Press, though, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I think I'll lead off Corviknight and Slowbro, and I might be able to get a Trick Room off and maybe do something here, but it's going to be really tough. It's going to be a really tough matchup. Incineroar in the back is going to be important. And I think I have to bring a Zoomerl. There's the Whimsicott, hit him on top. What does he go for here? I'm assuming he just fakes out. I almost ran dual wing beat on my Corviknight instead of Brave Bird, but I felt like Brave Bird was just a little bit better. Like, I don't mind taking the recoil damage if I can heal up. I think it's in my best interest just to Iron Head into Whimsicott and also just go for Trick Room. That's fine. And, dude, I still get my Trick Room off. Ooh, okay, a Jack Button. That's a little bit concerning. What's he bringing in? A zoom Is he bringing a Moongus? You're real annoying. You're really annoying if he brings in a Moongus here. The Sharp, okay. So the Sharp's actually pretty threatening for my team. I think it's in my best interest now to... Is he going to go for the knockoff, though? He's going to knock off. I could Dynamax and remove Hitmon on top, and then maybe deal with Bisharp in the end game. But at some point, Incineroar has to come in, and then he just loses. Yeah, Incineroar doesn't do very well 
versus uh, the rest of this team. Why? I think. I think I have to like give myself a ton of defense boosts. Like a max deal spike protect. I'm gonna go for it. This can be really risky. Because he ends up protecting. That's really, really interesting. So now I can definitely take whatever hit this Bisharp wants to go for. I, I'm just going to trick room up. I'm going to trick room up. I think I can take it. Something annoying about Bisharp, specifically for Galarian Slowbro, is that neither of my stab moves hit it. Kind of wishing I ran Body Press Corviknight, but I just didn't think it would be worth it. Turn on the timer on this man. There's the Dynamax. Gonna hurt. As he goes for it in the Corviknight. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's pretty terrifying. But I am a pretty big fan of that special defense drop. Why? No reason. I don't have a special attacker. <laughs> I literally have no way of hitting it. But I can be, I can keep boosting my um my physical defense and I should be alright. There's the Whimsicott. Uh let me just go for the max steel spike into the Whimsicott. As I probably just need to protect here. I don't want to get in a zoom roll. It's kinda of terrifying. I'll just protect. Be max guards, makes sense rid of that thing. Whatever's in the back, it's going to have to take a really powerful move here. Indeedy. Okay. Is he going to expanding force me? I would not like that. Uh, let me just go ahead and iron head into it. I think iron head into shell sidearm should do enough. It's going to be really close though. Not quite. I should have brave birded. The max darkness under my slow bro. Knocks me out. I do still have one more turn at Trick Room. Nice. So I'll go ahead and I'll take this opportunity to. Um... I mean, I feel like he's Scarf Expanding Force. And I definitely need to get rid of Indeedee here. Okay, I think I know what I should do. We go for the Iron Head into the Indeedee. I'm slower than it. And. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I think I can do this. Let me go for a raw. Do I liquidation? I kind of want to play rough because it does more, but I don't want to miss. I think I, I'll play rough. Sucker punches. He forgets about his own terrain. Beautiful. I think I win. Cool. I won. <laughs> Forgot about his terrain. I, mean, I think either way, like Incineroar comes in, and I would have been able to either just roost up and start hitting him, and then, uh, well, I mean, I would have given him a boost, but he would have an ultimatum there. And I don't think he has the tools to knock out Incineroar. Or did he have low kick? I don't remember. I forgot already. GLHF. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, this man's named Garchomp Team, but I don't see a Garchomp on his side. Doesn't look like... I, th I think he might be Trick Room? Like Trick Room Whimsicott? That might be an option here. Uh, however. However. I feel pretty comfortable. Slow bro Incineroar. Uh, Amoongus in the back. Really nice for Gastrodon. And I think I'll go, I'll go Dragalge. I think I'm willing to go Dragalge here. And turn on the timer. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be too hard to get my Trick Room up. Because, like, he has a couple of ways of stopping Trick Room. And one of them is having Taunt on both of his Whimsicott and... and both his Whimsicott and his Klefki, and I don't think he has that. As he goes, Inteleon, Luxray. Okay, this is actually pretty good for me. Either of these guys have the ability to stop my Slowbro from getting this up, and I'm pretty certain he's going to be aiming into Incinerar with a water move here. So I'll just trick him up and get in Amoongus. And then I'll be able to start spamming Spore everywhere, uh, as long as he doesn't have, like, Max Lightning on this Luxray.
I think that's a pretty good play. If you guys haven't already left a like on this video, do me a favor, leave a like. Uh, I'm trying to shoot for 150 today, but if we can get like 300, 200, whichever one, I'd be real happy. That'd help me out a lot. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful play. Sets up electric train. Okay, that's some tech. He didn't want to be put to sleep, but that's the least of your options. That's the least of your problems right now. I am running the Shikaberry so I can take the hit. I think what I'll do here is I'll actually max ooze into Giga Drain. Because I want to Dynamax this, uh, <laughs> I want to Dynamax my Slowbro. I want to do some stuff with it. I mean, Amoongus isn't going to be benefiting from the Giga Drain, or from the max ooze until next turn, but that isn't too bad. Get this max ooze off, and now I can go for my max psychic move. You fake tears, okay. See, I'll go for my max Mindstorm here. I don't mind switching out. In fact, I'll get in my Incineroar here. I'm at plus one. This might KO the Dragalge. Probably gonna Dynamax as well. And I don't really need Incineroar to win the game. I definitely need Amoongus though. As he switches in Gastrodon, okay. He did not take that well. I'm pretty annoyed with this Luxray. I'll max Mindstorm into it and get an Amoongus here. <sighs> Caught him. Caught him on the switch. Beautiful. Clear Smog isn't doing anything. I mean, it's resetting my stats, but Slowbro did what it needed to. And he doesn't really have a way of stopping me from putting things to sleep now, since I'm uh, faster than that Luxray under Trick Room. So I'll go ahead and I'll put it to sleep. And I will get in my Incinera here to take that hit. The helping hand is it goes for the earth power, I assume. Yep. Take that like a champ. And I should be able to take the hit pretty easily now. Let's go for the psychic. The Giga Drain here. He is slower than me. Oh wait, I forgot I'm not running the sugar berry anymore. <laughs> that just slipped my mind entirely. But I can redirect all these hits. And Dragalgy looks like it'll be able to win in the end game. So I'll focus my efforts on this Inteleon. I'm actually Psychic and uh, Rage Powder. Go will take the hit. Not gonna wake up. Beautiful. Get some Regenerator on my Slowbro here as I switch out and Rage Powder. Or I could Spore him too. He's definitely not gonna ignore the Amoongus, so I'll just do that. He Dynamaxes. I'm especially defensive. There's no way I don't take this hit. Beautiful. Good game, man. Go for these, um... I mean, they do the same amount of damage now, but... Good game, man. Alright, we'll get one more battle for today. One more battle, and then I'll call it for the video. But we're, it seems like we're doing pretty good. This team's pretty fire. GLHF. So we're facing another Alola Marowak. Now, Alola Marowak's definitely going to be a threat in this format. Buena suerte. Good luck. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> I speak a little bit of Spanish. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just keep doing what we've been doing. Hmm. It looks like Azumarill is going to be really nice in the lead, actually. I'll bring Slowbro in the back. I think my last Pokemon is going to be Amoongus once more. Let's see what we got. Alola Whack, Whimsicott. The Intimidate off. Um, I feel pretty comfortable just Dynamaxing actually and removing Alola Whack from the game. I'll go for it. And even if it isn't Alola Whack, it's gonna take like even if it is if even it, if it is that stupid Zoroark in the back, it's not gonna like a Max Geyser. Yep, that is gonna be the Zoroark. I don't have much to fear here. Uh, Zoroark's pretty much dead this next turn. I'll go ahead and I'll get in my Amoongus. Er, mm. I'll just Flare Blitz for damage. 
go for Max Geyser. He has like no real switch ins to it. Like Gyarados can take it, but not well. I expected that to be Moxie Gyarados. Be parting shot on this thing, and I'll go for um. Do I max Starfall for damage? Definitely parting shot. But I don't want to stop myself from being able to go for spores. Um. I think. Actually, hmm. Be parting shot on it. I'll get an Amoongus here, assuming he's going to go for max uh, overgrowth. Yeah. There's the Moonblast. Max Geyser. That's fine. I should be able to get up a, a Trick Room here. Or will I be able to? I mean, I do have Kobe Barry Amoongus, which is nice. Um, he could max Airstream. I'm assuming he's going to taunt here. Here's what I'll do. I'll put that Gyarados to sleep. He's going to taunt the Slowbro. No way you don't taunt the Slowbro when you think you can knock out the Amoongus. This goes for beat up. Okay. I should still be able to take this, I think. Barely. Barely, dude. And he's Lum. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. When all else fails, let's go for this. I'm gonna belly drum up. See how that works out. The max overgrowths. Alright. Doesn't seem like... Yeah, he doesn't have Taunt. That's really interesting. Let me Rage Powder. Oh, yeah, he also doesn't have, um... Move to knock out Slowbro. He doesn't have a Grass move, so I'll Trick Room up here. Bounces. That's nice. Go for the Clear Smog into this bad boy to knock him out. And... Better play. I mean, I can't Protect. Very smog. I might as well double into the Wimpscott slot in, in case it switches out, because Bounce is going to go second here. Um, I'll Psychic. Makes the most sense. Er, mm, shell Sidearm safer. Alright. Hopefully Shell Sidearm somehow knocks out. I don't really mind if I lose this match. I think we showcased the team pretty well already. Um, yeah, I'm gonna knock him out next turn with Shell Sidearm. I mean, Alola Wack ends up winning in the endgame anyways, but maybe he'll mess up. Because <laughs> he has Alola Wack, yeah. Uh, let me go for a Psychic. Maybe I'll somehow manage to knock it out. Not quite. GG win. Well played. Alright, but yeah, I think we showcased the team pretty well. Uh, I really enjoyed being able to swap out Galarian Slowbro and Amoongus for Regenerator. Like I said, this team isn't perfected. I just kind of threw it together to try out Trick Room offense in this format. But if you guys enjoyed this video and third time, you should leave a like, subscribe for more Pokemon content, and the team will be in the description down below if you want to try it out. <laughs> My voice is great. If you want to try it out anyways, uh, have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.